a healthy fast food breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, none? What's in the box? Five healthy fast food breakfasts from a dietitian. Oh my God, we're gonna start doing these videos again? The dietitians, are they still doing this? Are the dietitians still retarded? Remember all those dietitian videos I used to do? And I kind of stopped doing those. Maybe I'm coming back. Maybe I'm going to come back and start doing those on YouTube. What's up, guys? I'm Jackie. I'm a registered dietitian. And here are five of the best fast food breakfasts you can find. Let's Does that look like the one of the girls? One of the who? Is it the who's? Or the things from the, the Grinch with like the noses and stuff? The surgeon did a botched job on that. All right. Let's. Okay. Don't talk about her appearance. Don't talk about her appearance. Don't worry. She needs a steak. She needs a fucking steak. This one looks like. You look like you haven't eaten, period. Okay. Egg white breakfast sandwich. It's got spinach. It's got egg whites. It's got cheese. It's got tomato. It's a great breakfast choice. You're gonna it is a terrible breakfast choice. Eating at Panera is garbage. You get five grams of fiber and 19 grams of protein, which is super loving what we've done here. I added extra tomatoes. I added. All right, I'm going to pause her and then, you know, read it because she's not saying what it is. Taco Bell Cheesy Breakfast Burrito Potato. Taco Bell Cheesy Breakfast Burrito Potato. Do I have to explain what's in it? And again, are we talking about the massive ingredient list in the bottom right-hand corner that you can see that I can't read? Uh, you can just hear by the title. Okay, Taco Bell Cheesy Breakfast Burrito Potato. Uh, the first one was Panera Avocado Egg White and Cheese Sandwich. Fucking Egg White. Criminal. Um, bread, grains, gluten. Uh, the protein that she was saying it has 19 grams of protein. Fam, stop listening to any of these like vegans and people that are like, oh, this bread, I get 19 or 20 grams of protein. There's a difference between protein that you can actually absorb. Okay. We're talking about available protein. We're talking about quality protein. You're not getting quality protein from a bun from Panera. Okay. All right. I don't have anything wrong with avocado or eggs or cheese, but it has to be quality cheese. It has to be, you know, pastured quality eggs, the whole damn thing, please. And avocados, no problem. Uh, let's see this. We got her cheese blend because I love eggs and cheese. I just think what is a better combo than that? <sighs> We've got potatoes and tomatoes in here, which are going to drive up the Nails potassium. I love that you're going to get eight grams of protein in here. She just jumps right into it. I love that I'm going to get eight grams of protein. I love that I'm going to get eight grams of protein. I love that I'm going to get eight grams of protein, said no one ever. Do you lift weights? You don't. Do you want to make gains? Eight grams of protein. My twat. Eight grams. Who the fuck gets excited over eight grams of protein? You know you're anorexic when eight grams of protein is like, oh, I'm getting so much protein. No, lift some weights. Eat a steak. Eight grams of protein. Eight grams of protein. My steak laughs at you. Okay, so this one is from Starbucks. She's not even addressing what foods they are. Rolled and steel cut oatmeal. Peasant food. Peasant food. Gaming. Fucking crazy people eating this shit. Gross. This is what I'm talking about, people, when I say that plant-based protein can come from real whole foods like False. oats. I know, unexpected, right? But uh, garbage, low quality, garbage, like garbage, avoid that. Use that as like fertilizer or like use it as like edging and mulch. Don't put that in your body. That's the beautiful thing about 100% whole grains. I also, as you'll see here, kept out the brown sugar because you are going to get added sugar in the form of dried fruit. Most dried fruit is going to have added sugar in my childhood favorites. I really have to say. Oh, McDonald's Egg McMuffin and Premium Roast. Don't you guys agree? I coffee? also added the apple slices here because this is a little bit of a Egg McMuffin. Oh, a quality breakfast. Grams, but it feels like you should be getting more at a breakfast. And I also love the McDonald's coffee. I think they're making oh, a great lazy fox, fruit. Man. So instead of lazy getting one fox. of the extra sweetened ones, I added a couple of the creams and I'm good to I think this is an awesome option I definitely add a medium fruit cup and what is the best move Fuck. to silence a woman Jesus Christ eight seconds take a deep breath I love that you get kind of an abundance of like actual real chick-fil-a egg white grill and fruit cup <sighs> in the morning perfect choice by the way the one near me opens at 6 30 a.m Yo, how lazy are people? I'm serious. How lazy are you? This stuff is not cheap either. It's way overpriced for what it is. You're not getting quality food. You're not getting, there's no good fast food breakfast, period. 
fast. Stop eating. Have some black coffee. Go to fucking work. Eat a quality lunch. Bring your food. Oh my God, eight grams of protein in my oats. Eat a fucking egg. There's like six or seven grams of protein in an egg. Just eat an egg. Eat an, an egg. One egg is going to be better than that bowl of fucking oatmeal. Eat an egg. What is going on here? <laughs> what is going on with this nonsense? That's trash. If you're eating at a fast food place, period, it's trash. You're wasting money. What was that last one? It was like $7.89 for whatever it was. Yo, that's a pound of grass-fed and finished beef. Gross. If there's fruit cups, tons of preservatives, it's gross.